Hello everyone, this is Dr. Captain Sujay Pillai and today I would like to introduce you to a new container building library from Google called JIP, which is a fast and simple container image builder that handles all the steps of packaging your Java application into a Docker or OCI format image. Not all Java developers Developers are container experts and to containerize a Java application is not a simple task. You would have to write a docker file, run a docker daemon as root, wait for builds to complete and finally push the image to a remote registry. Jib is an open source Java containerizer from Google that lets Java developers build containers using Java tools they know. Without having to write a docker file, or have docker installed. It is directly integrated into Maven and Gradle. All you have to do is add the plugin to your build and you will have your Java application containerized in no time. So let's start building a simple Java application using Spring Boot and see how we can use Jib to containerize it. So to start with, I would hit start.spring.io to generate a Maven project. Let's name the artifact as chips. And I would add the dependencies for web so that it generates a Spring Boot web application. So as see I have generated a Maven project um, which is a Spring Boot Java application and it has a pom.xml file let me get into the main class for this and what I will do is add a rest controller annotation to it the main class And let me add a new method to this which returns a string and what I'm going to do is add the request mapping annotation and map it to the root of the URL something like this so all what I have did is generated a Java project using Spring Boot and added a request mapping which maps to the root of the URL.
So let me build this project now. As you see, it has generated the target folder and it has my job file, which is my application. So let me run this Java as jar target. And if I hit my browser to 8080, so it gives me the message hello docker world. Now as a developer, once I have built my jar file for my Java application, uh, the next step would be to write a docker file and build the docker image and push it to a docker registry but in case of jib what you have to do is that just add the maven build plugin and jib takes care of generating the docker image or the oci format image for your java application so let's see how we can do it So what you have to do is that uh, in your existing form.xml add the build plugin definition for jib as shown in the screen. So go to your form.xml and under the build Add the plugin definition for chip as follows. So, as you see in this part of definition, what I have done is that added the chip Maven plugin, which is which here in I am using 0.9.6 as the version. And what I'm saying is that uh, to start with the parent image, please use OpenJDK Alpine. And once the image has been generated, please tag it with this format. And I'm adding the execution phase package and the goal as build. The two configuration over here shows how your image should be tagged once it has been generated and it should point to your Docker Hub account or your registry format. Once you have added the plugin definition for JIP, the second thing you need to take care of is that you should have an entry in your settings.xml file with the credentials for your Docker Hub account. So as in my case, you have seen uh, I have an entry in my settings.xml which points to registry.hub.docker.com and with my username and password in it so what this setting would help is it would help you to push this image once it has been built by the chip maven plugin to push to your docker hub account so let's see how that is done so now to build the project and build the docker image we would execute the command mvn package jib build so 
so right now it's building my job file and once the job file has been built as you see it has started building the images and now it's returning my credentials for my docker hub account and it started pushing the image to my docker hub so once the build gets finished uh, you could see the same image pushed on to my docker hub account So now let's switch to my docker hub account and it says that the image has been pushed with the tag sujipilay chip spring boot demo so let me log into my docker hub account You see there is an image called Jib Spring Boot Demo which is pushed a few seconds ago. And let me show you on my local I don't have any images generated by the same tag name jig spring boot demo now if i had to build the same project using the docker daemon what i would do is execute the command mvn package jib and execute it against my docker daemon and pass the parameter as docker build so now in this case uh, it's building against my docker daemon locally Now if I do docker images, I see spring boot demo listed in my docker images command. Uh, the one thing to note is it shows as 48 years ago because um, it is a bug which has been reported on github for this project and by the project maintainers it has been set for the reproducibility purposes and jib sets the creation time of the container images to zero that is January 1st 1970 And the cool thing to note is if you look into the project structure I still don't have any docker file for this project yet and still I'm able to build my docker image for it I shared the code for this project on github which you can find over here and if you're looking for any help or if you find any issues related to chip project please feel free to raise an issue on the github project for chip or if you need any help please feel free to reach out to me on twitter at sujapilai thank you for watching the video